we call Special Illinois. And just so you guys know, whenever we think about this route, we want to try to get it versus man coverage, okay? We always think this is a good man beater because it involves... There, there's a lot of ways to beat man, right? So just think about this. In the running game, there's a way to beat man, option, right? Man, you can, you can beat man with the option game. We think that running crack, toss crack plays where you crack the perimeter of the defense is a good way to beat man in, in the running game. In the passing game, you have stacks, you have bunches, you have empty, you have empty with crossers. You know, guys over the top of each other. Or downfield crossers off a of play action. Or you're, it's like basketball. Anytime you see man coverage, you know you're getting a lot of man, you got to think about rubs. Don't say the word pick, because pick is illegal. We're talking about rub, just rubbing it. That's all. We just want to be over the top of another guy and, and try to divert his route to, to his way of covering you. Okay, so this is special Illinois. So special, all special is, is a three-by-one route for us, and we can use it in empty in this way. So special is, number one strong is in a max split. He's got a locked hitch, no conversion. Number two strong has a seam, so it's just like Haas was, okay? Number three has an under, and he's the hot on the front side. He's got an under route, all right? Number two weak is on the Illinois side. So Illinois is an in by the outside receiver at 12 yards and an under by the inside receiver at three yards because this Illinois under is going to be underneath the special under, and that's where we're going to get our rub. So we got him on the under, him on the under. He come, he, this guy right here is going to come underneath the tight end, and we've got this guy on the 12-yard in cut. All right, now, what, are we, what do you guys think we're getting here? What does it look like we might be getting here? Blitz zero. Okay, we're getting blitz zero, guys. Got somebody, like a lot of guys just, and I'm not, this is, this is always an interesting thing. And I love talking about this. When you break the huddle at quarterback, you have to think high to low. You can't think low to high. I don't care if it's a run or a pass. Train your quarterback. All right, ready, break. We break the huddle. Where are the safeties? Find the safeties. I always tell the kid, find the weak safety, find the strong safety. Just train the kid to find the safeties. Corners, you guys all know the corners on your team. They're the sneaky dudes, man. They're the guys, you know, they're, they got a lot of, you know, bravado and they're confident and they got, you know, they're, they're the ones that can lie to you, right? Them safeties, those are the guys that direct the show back there. They can lie to you too, don't get me wrong, but you've got to locate them because whether it's pre-snap or post-snap, they're going to tell you about what the defense is doing. So here's what we say. If the safeties are 12 yard, too high safeties, if they're 12 yards, I'm just talking about too high right now, what, what looks like too high to you. If they're 12 yards deep and they're somewhat off the hash, more than likely they're playing cover two. If they're 8 to 10 yards deep and they're over your number two receivers, more than likely they're playing cover four. I'm not going to give you a coverage lecture right now. I'm just telling you just really quick. If they're under 8 yards, those two safeties, okay, they're under 8 yards, and maybe the weak safety's cheating at number three or maybe he's over number two weak. If they're under 8 yards or they're hovering in that shallow area, something's up, split zero, especially if it's empty. Okay, so th those are some things that we teach our guys as it relates to finding the safeties. Okay, so this is Blitz Zero, Purdue. All right, so this is the way we dealt with this. He's making a check, and he's going to throw that little slip screen right there to Allen Robinson. This, uh, this guy was the Big Ten receiver of the year. And a lot of his catches were on this type of play, you know, just, just ways to get him the ball, but this is a Blitz Zero check. So in our, in our slip screen deal, our tackle's not getting out very well. He should just go right now, and he'd be blocking him. This guy's basically going to wrap and block the, the uh, defensive lineman that always trails the play. Okay, he's doing a good job here. This was later in the season. He's kind of getting it. This kid worked at it, man. He was a great guy to coach because he put in the time. Okay. That's a blitz zero deal there. All right, now let's go to New England. Same route, special Illinois. Okay, so now here's Welker and Branch down here. We Maybe we stack this to, to run the thing a little bit different. Here's locked hitch, seam, all right, under. 
Okay, so we're in motion. We're doing maybe something a little bit different here. No, it's still Illinois. So Welker, is. it's important. Here's the thing, guys. On the receivers that are on the crossers, okay, on the receivers that are on the crossers, it's important that the underneath guy knows that he's the one that's responsible for the rub. Follow me? The guy that's over the top is the guy that's responsible for getting to his depth. In this case, five yards. And then the guy that's underneath, he's supposed to run his man right off of that guy's hip. Just like in basketball. If I'm dribbling the ball and I have a pick coming, it's my responsibility to get my man picked. Okay, or if I'm just without the ball and I'm trying to get open, it's my responsibility to run my man into the pick. It's not the pick's guy's responsibility. So understand that about the rub in football. So that's what we're trying to do. Welker, sometimes, you know, he just knew that he was coming open and he would do things, you know, a little bit different. But here, he should really push his linebacker up and get this guy, more, get himself more hip-to-hip -hip with Algie Crumpler to be able to get the rub on David Harris. <laughs> okay, special Illinois. Ooh. Ankle. Algy, who's a great guy. All right, now, okay, now, this, this could be a situation here where what's happening here is what? You remember this one? So this end, there's a defensive end here walked out. Okay, and so what he's doing here is he's tarrying this this protection. He's sliding this. It's a five-man slide. So Matt slid to here. These four are slid for one, two, three, four, or any four that comes. Because in a slide protection scheme, that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to slide and pick up whatever comes in your gap. All right, here's Special Illinois against Northwestern. For us this year, okay, locked hitch, seam, under, under, okay, in cut. Okay, not as good, again, if you get zone coverage, it's just not very good. So, again, you're trying to get it versus man-to-man -man coverage. 